If I have to explain Barrydale, it would be like the hand weavers. The town is made up out of hundreds of different people, interesting people, and they're all woven together. Their stories are all woven together, which makes up this picture-perfect place called Barrydale. My name is Denise Beerman and we are in Barrydale, Western Cape. The cliché is the gem of the little Karoo, but I hate clichés and I would describe it as a beautiful village nestled in a valley between the mountains in which a variety of absolutely fascinating people live. I'm Leslie Elizabeth Howard, a writer, and I live in Barrydale. Small town, <laughs> but getting bigger, which is good and it's bad because it's losing a lot of its um, innocence and charm, I think, possibly. Um, but good also because new people are bringing in a lot of new things. Carol, Carol Morris, and in beautiful Barrydale. Interestingly enough, it's right on the edge of the Clan Cruise, so close to Cape Town. That's three hours, three hours from Cape Town. I'm Rick Melville, and we're at the Karoo Art Hotel in Barrydale. I describe it as a little oasis in the, in the Karoo, in the Clan Karoo, close to the Longaberg Mountains, which creates a valley, a very fertile valley, and a wonderful ecology. Uh, my name is Flora, believe it or not, the botanist, uh, Cameron. The mercantile family, Barry and Nevews, who had their headquarters in Swellendam. Well, they were very active in a wide area, and they were active here too. And so the official version of how Barrydale got its name, is that plain and simply, it was named after the Barry family. But when I was doing this research for the book, for the history, some of the very old timers said to me, there's a fabulous story about how, how Barrydale got its name. One of the Foncola daughters fell in love with the surveyor whose name was Barry, and she begged her father to name the town after him. So it is really a very intimate, small village with many dust roads, and on a dust road, you find a four-star art hotel, and you enter the doors and you just get this, wow, surprise. If you go into my shop, which is now turned into a shop, not just an art gallery, um, you'll find that almost everything in the shop is local. People walk in here and they say, oh, it, it, it just feels nice. They don't specify why or how, but I think that's true. And I think that's true of a lot of green buildings. So yeah, very important to support local. It's hard for me to take credit for the hand weavers because I only bought the business three years ago. The, the hand weavers started in 2007 uh, with Tivan and Carol. Um, literally just the two of them. He was weaving the product, she ran the shop and sold the product. I'm Aaron Bastable and here we are at Barrydale Handweavers. So Barrydale Handweavers is not only just about the product that you see, but it's about, it's about the love, it's about the passion, it's the fun that people have. It's like a family. And something of that, I think, if it's a handmade product, ends up being woven into the, the product that, that people buy. Yeah. This region is completely important because of this diversity. We've got to, we're accentuating diversity. When diversity is lost, as I said, pollinators are lost, bird life is lost, the health of the soil is lost. And we have this wonderful diversity which we must maintain or try our best to understand and monitor and, and make sure it's not, not being damaged. If it is a piece of art, um, I suppose it'll be a sort of a Karouf Van Gogh, you know, because <laughs> it's got, you know, 
It's got a blazing sun and, and you know, you get that sort of beautiful sky here and and there's just a lot of colour here. Um, it's very vibrant. What goes through my mind is all the families living in this valley, going up the slopes, no more houses up to the grandeur of the mountains that stand guardian over us all, all the time. And I marvel at the magic of such a tiny village, the beauty of the architecture in many cases, the beauty of old houses, lovely gardens, Peru, succulents, and a kind of casual feeling that only exists in little villages, where it doesn't matter if you go to the shops in your torn shirt and your old boots that you've been gardening in, nobody will bat an eyelid. Um, acceptance, maybe that's the word that sums it up. Acceptance of life and of difference. And that is Barrydale.